I'm Anthony L. Elmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, here to bring you another exciting Black Buddhist lecture. It is important that you have Black Buddhist teachers. Now, my lecture today is called Black Man Explains How He Benefited from the Buddhist Chanting Practice. My name is Anthony Elmore. Most of you have seen the story of Tina Turner and how she benefited from Buddhism. I am a black man and I have a Buddhist story as to how I became a world karate kickboxing champion via my Buddhist chanting practice. I officially began practicing Buddhism when I was only 18 years old in 1970. In 1974, I joined an organization called NSA, or Nichiren Shoshu of America. And when I first came to my first Buddhist meeting, I was told that whatever dream that you got is too small. That through chanting, normal or non your holiday code, you can attain your dreams. And I began to faithfully practice the Buddhist teachings, reciting the Lotus Sutra, and chanting non your holiday code. Now, this practice was started in 13th century Japan by a black. Buddhist sage by the name of Nichiren Shonen. The word Nichiren means sun lotus and Shonen means priest. Now, we had no idea that Nichiren was black, but when you study ancient Japanese history, you will find that the first people or the originators of Japan were the Jomon people. Now, there's a group of people in Japan called the Anu. They are the original people, or they were called the Chandalas. Now, Nitrin called himself from the family of Chandalas. Now, let's get off into our lecture. Now, in my own particular life, I would read a ghost show. The ghost show are letters that Nitrin wrote to his disciples. And there is a ghost show called The Strategy of the Lotus Sutra. I made a commitment in my life that I wanted to be the world karate kickboxing champion. And on May the 29th, 1982, I became the world karate kickboxing champion. But there is more to the story because in this story, I had to read the ghost show with my life. And a ghost show that I know so well that I want to share with you is called The Strategy of the Lotus Sutra. And today I can give you a Black Buddhist lecture with my life in a language and culture that you can understand. The Buddha Shakyamuni wrote in the Ghost Show that we he left a precept, the Buddha left a precept, I think it's Expedient means and lifespan chapter of Lotus Sutra, the Buddha left a precept that says Buddhism should be taught according to the customs of the region. So we who are African American, we teach Buddhism according to our culture, our history, and our language, just as the Buddha Shakyamuni taught. Now, in regard to this ghost show or Nichiren writing, I know this writing wholeheartedly from my life. See, as a five-time world karate kickboxing champion, I had to use this go show with my life. See, myself being a fighter, the strategy of the Lotus Sutra was so near and dear to me because I had to go into the ring and I had to fight. And I want to use my real life Buddhist experience to encourage and teach others Buddhism. Now, the Go Show, the strategy of Lotus Sutra, takes place in 13th century Japan. Now, please understand, the original people of Japan were black people. 
and Shinjo Kingo could have been a black person. There's a Japanese proverb that reads, in order to be a brave samurai, you must have a bit of black blood. Please understand that the first shogun of Japan was a black man. So, uh, Dr. Francis Alexander Chamberlain, America's first anthropologist, made note of this. Even in Black History Month, Dr. Carter G. Woodson talked about the black general. So, all of this ties in to our Buddhist practice. Now, one thing that I can tell you, I want you to look at the picture of Nichiren Shonen, who writes in the ghost show, Letter from Sado and Bastion to Sado, that he is a son of a Chandela. Our Japanese teachers do not teach us black Buddhist history. Please note that the foundation of the Buddhist platform in Japan in 756 AD was built on a black Buddha in the ancient Japanese capital of Nara, Japan. Now I want you to look and view a temple that's called Todaji Temple. Now this is a UNESCO site. Now UNESCO is an acronym for the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. You see, Nitrin Shonen wrote this letter to Shingo Kingo. Shingo Kingo was a brother. Now, this is what Nitrin writes to Shingo Kingo. See, Shingo Kingo got into a big fight and he survived on harm. And Nitrin wrote, quote, I have carefully read your letter in which you describe the recent skirmish with powerful enemies. So they have finally attacked you. It is a matter of rejoicing that your usual prudence and courage as well as your firm faith in the Lord of Sutra and enable you to survive unharmed." Unquote. You see, Shinjo Kinjo got into a fight and Nitrin explained that he survived because of his, quote, usual prudence and courage as well as his firm faith in the Lord of Sutra. This is what you must understand. It is humanly impossible to calculate the differences among human beings, beings in most cases. In a sporting event, it's impossible to tell in a race, oftentimes, who is the winner. We have to look at a photo finish. Or in a basketball game, it comes down to one split second, one shot. Nitrin explains this way. He says, when one comes to the end of one's good fortune, no strategy whatsoever avails. When one's current rewards are exhausted, even one's retainer no longer follow one. You survive because you still have both good fortune and rewards. You see, we who practice Buddhism, whether you chant Namu Myoho Renge Kyo or not, we have good fortune and rewards. You don't have to be a whether you Buddhist or not, you could wake up one day and have bad fortune, whether a tree fall, or you could be the people in Houston who have a flood, or you could live in California and have fires, or you could be an African American who run up against a racist police who shoot and kill you. So all of this racism and all of the bad things that happen is a matter of our bad fortune. Now, see, while Shingo Kingo had a case of good fortune rewards, Nitchin explained to his disciple, quote, he says, Moreover, in the entrustment chapter, the heavenly gods and benevolent deities pledge to protect the votaries of the Lotus Sutra. Of all the guardian, guardian deities in heaven, it is the gods of the sun and moon who visit and protect us. How can we doubt their protection? You see, what is important for those who put faith in the Lotus Sutra, we should know that the entrustment chapter of the Lotus Sutra reads, quote, we will respectively carry out 
all the, those things just as the world honored one commanded. When you begin to take on the Buddhist faith and you chant Nabu Myoho Renge Kyo, you awaken the help of the gods and the gods vow to Shakyamuni Buddha that he would protect you because you are a votary of the Lotus Sutra. This is what our Buddhist faith do, do for us. You see, on May 29th, I was fighting, 1982, I was fighting for the world kickboxing title on ESPN. I could not even get, at the time, the Coca-Cola company to purchase an ad. They told me they didn't have money. They wouldn't support me. I ran up against all kind of racism, not because of what I had. Even though you can have a good product, I was a world champion, but the problem was in 1982 I was black and they were not about to support a black person. In the major corporations in Memphis, they were not going to do it. And I had a very hard time, even before the fight. My lights got cut out. I was really had a hard struggle. But at the last minute of my fight, something happened. The Adolf Coors Company, or Coors Beer, came in at the last minute and they gave me advertisement and they gave me the support that I could not get from my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Now, at the end of the fight, I did not, even though we had people at the fight, but I had to pay and I was a promoter of the fight and I gave the uh, guy who I fought, Oak Tree, was all the cash I got. But I had to write that man a check that was no good. But when I went to the Adolf Coors Company, the Adolf Coors and told them I could not cover the check. Those people not only covered that check for me, they flew me out to Golden, Colorado, and I became the first African American in the history of Coors Beer to be honored with the personal service contract. Not only was I honored with the personal service contract and they flew me out to Golden, Colorado to the brewery, I was the first karate kickboxer in America, black or white, to get a personal service contract with the major American corporation. And Coors gave me something that many people in the world don't have. And that is, they gave me time. And I took the time I had, and I went and I took a typing class, and I wrote, produced, and starred in my own movie that premiered in 1988 called The Contemporary Gladiator. It played in Germany, it played in various places, and I had the opportunity to go to Nairobi, Kenya in 1990 and premiere my movie. Now, all of this happened, ladies and gentlemen, because of the good fortune and rewards. I will tell you that these things happen because of my firm faith in the Lotus Sutra. When you chant Namu Yohorenge Kyo, you gain good fortune. You see, there is not a day that passes that people don't come up to me and said, you are Anthony Al Elmore, the world karate kickboxing champion. In my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, even though I have not fought in almost two decades, I am the world, I am a hometown hero. You see me on a picture with Congressman Steve Korn and the late Isaac Hayes, we are hometown heroes. You see, while I'm a hero, you see, this is what the the Lord of what the Gosha reads. It says, it is the heart that is important. No matter how earnestly Nitrin prays for you, if you lack faith, it will be like trying to set fire to wet tender. Spur yourself to muster the power of faith. Regard your survival as wondrous. Implore the strategy 
of the Lotus Sutra before any other. All others who bear enmity or malice will be wiped out. These golden words will never prove false. A heart of strategy and swordsmanship arrives from the mystic law. Have profound faith. A coward cannot have his prayers answered. Time and time again, I have run up against challenges that I did not have an answer for. But I use the strategy of the Lotus Sutra. And in your life, you can chant Namu Myoho Renge Kyo and the gods will come out and protect you. What we need sometimes is not how smart we are, how skillful we are, but it's a matter of our good fortune and through practicing the teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni, his highest teachings called the Lotus Sutra, where we chant the words Namu Myoho Renge Kyo you can change your life. I get down on my knees and I pray every day. I pray the Lord of suit your way. I pray every day to do my best to practice peace and love and respect. I get down on my knees and I pray every day. I pray the Lord will suit you away. Devotion to the mystic law and cause and effect teaching. I believe and wisdom. I get down on my knees and I pray every day. I 